So if I had to pick a second favorite uh, biomolecule between carbohydrates, lipids, proteins, and nucleic acids, it would totally be proteins because proteins do so much for your body. These are structural. We find them in our hair. We find them in our nails. These are functional. They perform a lot of the chemistry in our cells. Those are called enzymes. And those are extremely important for our health because it helps those chemical reactions occur at a pace that's uh, a biological pace rather than a non-catalyzed pace. It helps life happen on life's time scale. Otherwise, we'd be waiting. No, nobody got time for that. Okay, and so structural, functional, they control transport in and out of the cells. Uh, they control uh, all sorts of regulation. They do cell signaling. They they're provided for attachment. There's so many things. And then, of course, we use them for energy. Protein's part of our balanced diet, along with carbohydrates and lipids. So proteins are really, really important. And s speaking of nutrition, some of them are called, um, in our nutrition, we need certain components called essential amino acids. So our monomer for proteins, which you should absolutely know, is the amino acid. The polymer is, of course, the protein. Okay. So amino acid, we know from that name that it probably has an amino group, an amine, N-H-H. -H. Then there's what's called an alpha carbon in the middle. And from the acid part here, we know that that's going to be C double bond O, OH. That's our carboxylic acid. So on this alpha carbon, we're always going to have at least one H and then an R group. And so these amino acids are really kind of amazing because there's 20 different options here. 20 different options for what this R group is. So one of them's a methyl group, one of them's another H, um, one of them's an OH, uh, CH2OH, uh, so there's some phenyl groups on there, there's, there's a whole bunch. So because there's so many of these, proteins were actually considered for a, quite a while, they were hypothesized to be the genetic material in cells because these are so varied and so immensely diverse. However, we have since learned that it is um, DNA and RNA. Those are our genetic molecules because even though there's only four bases for those, and there's 20 for here, it's based on triplet code. So there's actually a whole bunch more, and we'll talk more about that later. A whole bunch more options with a triplet code than bi uh, binary like here. Okay, so our when I say protein, you need to be thinking amino acid, amino group, acid group, alpha carbon in the meal, middle. And that's going to make our protein polymer absolutely essential for health and well-being. Okay, so the way that these monomers combine is through a condensation reaction. Let me draw that out for you really quick. Between the amine group, alpha, H, and some different R, C double bond, O, O, H. In this condensation reaction, we're picking up the OH from the carboxylate. H from the nitrogen, and that is going to make our beautiful peptide bond, which I'm probably going to have to draw below. N, C, 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 double bond, O. We now have this beautiful peptide bond between the carbon double bond, oh, this part didn't change at all. We lost this bond, so this will now become attached to this nitrogen. This nitrogen is still attached to that hydrogen. N, H, C, alpha. Okay, so there we see the formation of our stinking beautiful peptide bond. OH, and over here. Nothing happened here, so we'd still have H's there, and we'd still have the R groups. And so the sequence of the amino acids tells us the sequence of the protein. So what we really care about 
is this and this and the order that they go in and the order that they go in the sequence we care about the the R groups the actual individual amino acids and it always goes N terminus to C terminus and when I say N terminus I mean from the amino to acid so just like the name it goes amino to acid because it's made of amino acids so that's the order this is how we can tell the sequence of the proteins. so the sequence of the proteins is then going to tell us the structure of the proteins okay uh, but before we get there now that we know how these proteins are made I can go back and tell you about essential amino acids so essential amino acids are those that your body cannot make on its own and as you can see here we've got 20 different options so this is really really important so if your body cannot make and there's certain amino acids that our bodies cannot make if we cannot make it on our own we have to be able to consume it as part of your normal diet okay um so that's what makes them super important so like lysine is one of those so you have to eat things um, that contain lysine because otherwise if we're missing the amino acid in the correct order we cannot make the protein so that's why essential amino acids are important okay um, and I mentioned that this amide leakage that's our peptide bond peptide bond as part of a much bigger carbonyl by amino this is also called an amide so lots of functional groups going on here okay and in terms of structure I just want to say so like um, just really quickly just like we saw in carbohydrates a dipeptide that's gonna have two amino acids a tripeptide is gonna have three amino acids a polypeptide that's going to have 10 or more, so tripeptide 2, tripeptide 3, uh, polypeptide 10 or more, and a protein is going to have like 10,000 or more, 10,000 plus. They're going to weigh a whole lot. Okay, so you do have polypeptides that have functions in your saliva, for example, histatins. So they actually have antimicrobial antibiotic pr properties and they help pr protect you and keep you safe. So isn't that fun? Proteins do a whole lot of things. They are immensely complicated. Uh, so as long as you remember, proteins are made of amino acids. The sequence is red amino to acid. There and peptide bonds form the linkages that give us the sequence. The sequence is the order of the bases. You'll be fine.